Welcome once more again to my channel and today we are going to be looking at the abnormal demand curves and uh, uh, the abnormal demand curve is contrary or opposite to the law of demand which states that more of a good is demanded at a higher price than at a lower price that's ceteris paribus if everything remains equal but in today's lesson we are going to be looking at a situation where everything is not equal or in other words looking at the two types of abnormal demand curve so just like you can see on the board there are two types we have abnormal at the top and we have abnormal at the bottom now abnormal at the top means demand does not slope downward from left to right in other words it instead has a supply shape we're going to be looking at supply shape in our in our next videos so quickly we look on we look at it on the board we have abnormal at the top so instead of demand to slope normally like this, it will have a different shape. That's to say a supply shape. So it is abnormal, not abnormal at every level, only at the top. So at this level we have here abnormal. And here we have normal. All of them are demand curve. For that reason we have DD. So this is how it is explained. Let's say for example we have a market price of uh, 10 francs. Remember how to draw your demand curve. We always have price origin and uh, quantity okay we have price origin and quantity and let's say for example at the price of 10 francs cfa this is in france cfa at the price of 10 francs cfa we have four quantities that is bought price of 10 francs cfa we have four quantities that is bought for demand to be abnormal at the top it means that at higher prices consumers continue to buy more at higher prices they continue to buy even more quantities they continue to buy even more quantities for example we have at the price of 20 price have increased from 10 to 20 what happens consumers they buy more look at the way the curve slopes they buy more so when it touches the demand curve as we said in the previous video we bring down the curve so we have instead of buying four we have movement to the right that shows increase six or maybe let's say five but just let's just put six them that's to say they have bought more at higher prices there are two reasons that explains abnormality at the top these reasons include goods of ostentation goods of ostentation and uh, we equally have the fear of future rise in price we have goods of ostentation goods of ostentation equally refers to goods of snob appeal or verblen goods. This is these are goods which people buy because of prestige. So they go to the market and they buy it at higher prices. And for example, we have uh, uh, prestigious goods like expensive cars, expensive jewelries. People buy these goods because they carry prestige. They will not buy these goods if their prices are falling. So that's why they go to the market at a higher price of even twenty francs if from uh, the normal market price of ten. At a higher price of twenty francs if people buy more quantities. That's uh, from their usual quantity of six. They buy. Uh, from the usual quantity of four they now buy six quantities so that is good of ostentation and we equally have fear of future rise in price if uh, people speculate if people speculate that prices of goods and services are going to increase in the future they are going to be buying more right now at higher prices for example the market price was 10 you go to the market you realize that the price have increased to 20. instead of you to buy four quantities because of an increase in the price you instead buy six quantities more even at a higher price because you speculate or anticipate that prices are going to equally rise more than the 20 francs in future that is abnormal at the top let's look at abnormal at the bottom with abnormal at the bottom this is the curve remember to always have your price origin and quantity demanded so abnormal at the bottom now demand becomes normal at the top but abnormal at the bottom yes so we have our market price let's say for example market price is still 10 francs for abnormal at the bottom it means that when price falls you expect people to buy more right according to the normal law but when price falls people instead buy less so for example at the price of 10 francs people used to buy four quantities let's use the previous example people used to buy four quantities now price has fallen a downward movement price has fallen to eight francs what do you expect you expect people to buy more right the people instead buy less let's say two quantities movement to the left that shows abnormality yeah demand is normal yeah demand is abnormal okay demand is 
abnormal. So this is equally explained by two reasons. We have the first reason is uh, inferior good. Inferior good. And uh, we have the fear of future fall in price. Inferior goods are simply goods uh, that are equally called given goods. These are goods which uh, the demand falls when the price falls. Okay? So when the price of these goods fall, consumers realize an increase in their real income. When we talk of real income, we mean income in terms of goods and services. When the price of these goods for consumers realize an increase in their real income and they tend not to buy it. In Cameroon, we have examples of inferior goods or given goods like uh, sweet potatoes, banana. So people will not buy more of these goods when the price falls. They will instead tend to something else they have never consumed. For example, the price was 10. They used to buy two quantities. Sorry, the price was 10. They used to buy four quantities. The price now drops to eight. Consumers realize an increase in their real income. Instead of them to buy four quantities as before, they now buy two quantities. They shift their demand to something else. Fear of a future fall in price. You will, uh, you will spe speculate, just like you know, the previous situation, you speculate here or anticipate here that prices are going to continually falling in the future as time goes on. So you will buy less quantities now. You go to the market, the price was 10. You go to the market, price has fallen to 8. Remember at the price of 10, you used to buy four quantities. You go to the market, price has fallen to 8. On a normal situation, demand expects you to buy, to continue buying the four quantities or even more. But in this situation, you buy less. So that tells you that because this is simply because you, you are afraid that the price will continue falling in the future. So it is by, a, according to you, it will be better to buy less now and buy more in the future, even at a lower price than eight. Maybe let's say at the price of six or or seven. Thank you very much for watching. Today we're looking at abnormal demand curve and we have seen two types of abnormal demand curve. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe, to like and to comment and even share and uh, any worry that you have, put it on the comment section. Thank you. I've been The Economics.